This video topic was requested by my patron, the Badger Queen. If you'd like to become a patron and have your video topic requests prioritized, link down below. We live in a society. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about types of conflict. A conflict in a story is any type of clash between two or more opposing forces. This is something that is necessary for stories to happen. And at the end of the day, for the type of role play that we're doing and that I'm really helping with on this channel, what we're doing is collaboratively writing stories. So in this video, we're going to talk about six types of story conflict. And many of these can be present all in the same story. In fact, today, all of the examples that we're going to use to talk about these types of conflict all come from one TV show. We're going to use Shira, the remake that's on Netflix, uh, as our example. And yes, this video is going to contain some spoilers for the show, but it's all on Netflix and you can go binge it now. So if you're concerned about that, go binge it. It's, it's a really good show. Also, when it comes to the types of conflicts, we're going to start more insular and we're going to kind of move outward as we talk about each type. So the first type is man versus self. This is the conflict that your character is going through within themselves, and it's also called internal conflict. This is the process of character development that one goes through as they're overcoming their own nature. This could be framed as a good path versus an evil path. It could be framed as self-improvement. It can be framed as learning one's own powers or overcoming a character defect. A good example of this is what Adora goes through when she leaves the Horde and ultimately becomes She-Ra. Or when Glimmer becomes Queen of Brightmoon and is working to figure out what sort of queen she wants to be. These are conflicts that take place inside the character. Your second type of conflict is man versus man. When you think of conflict, this is probably what you're thinking of. For example, this is the conflict in a story between the protagonist and the antagonist, or between the hero and the villain. Basically, this is a conflict between two individuals that are enemies in some capacity. These two individuals are in some way opposing forces. Maybe they have a personal beef with each other. Maybe they're fighting on oppositely idealistic sides of some conflict, or maybe they just have a personality clash that they cannot overcome easily. A good example of this is basically the entire plot between Adora and Katra. This is all the way from them growing up together in the Horde, to Adora leaving the Horde and joining the Rebellion, to at the end where Katra admits that she loves Adora. And this is a great example of man versus man conflict. It's essentially lovers on opposite sides of a war. The third type of conflict is man versus nature. This is a type of external conflict where man is battling against animals or storms or nature itself. This is super common in survival stories where a small group or an individual goes out into the wilderness. And in roleplay, a good example is a snowed in plot or a power goes out plot. Because we as humans spend a lot of time controlling the environment around us, this type of conflict really taps in to that fear that nature doesn't care about us and there are things out there that could kill us. A good example of this in Shira is any time that the Whispering Woods essentially tries to kill the characters. Think about when they had basically acid rain in the woods, or when bugs chase them, or really anything like that. Those are examples of man versus nature conflict. The fourth type of conflict is man versus technology. This is sort of a companion conflict to man versus nature, but instead of man battling against natural forces he can't control, this is essentially when something man-made turns on man. Think killer robots, malfunctioning computers, or science that we didn't consider the consequences of before creating it. The idea that something you made has unintended consequences is terrifying. Maybe the original technology was meant to be helpful, or maybe they just got wrapped up in the pursuit of science. Either way, in this situation, essentially the characters never stop to think if they should. If you've watched Shira, the example I'm going to use here is probably pretty clear. The Horde uses Entrapta's machines to win a ton of battles against the Rebels. And Entrapta isn't really concerned with what the technology she's creating is being used for, she's just in it for the pursuit of science. She never really stops to think about why she's creating what she's creating and what it's going to do. And this is a classic man versus technology conflict. The fifth type of conflict is man versus society. 
We live in a society. So we're gonna zoom out a little bit more with this one. This isn't just man's technology turning on him. This is man's societal creations turning on him. Think about pretty much any story involving oppressive governments or institutions or societal norms. These are dangerous in a bit of a different way than nature or technology is dangerous because societal norms are created by a collective of people, and that means the way to undo them is also with a collective of people. Even though sometimes these type of stories do center on one protagonist that kind of comes in and saves the day, that's not realistic. For society to change, what you have to have is a collective of people coming together and pushing against those oppressive forces. In Shira, Swiftwind is our example of this. The main thrust of the story is pushing out the Horde, which is essentially an invading force on Etheria, and then the idea is after they push back the Horde, they're going to restore the monarchy. But all the way back in Season 1, Swiftwind thinks they should go farther. Even though the monarchy is not as oppressive as the Horde, it's still an oppressive force. And so Swiftwind says, let's dismantle all unjust hierarchies. And the sixth type of conflict that we have is Man versus Supernatural. Now we're zooming all the way out, and we're gonna go kill God. Yes, this is the plot of basically every JRPG you've ever played. In this conflict, the character or characters battles with their maker, or fate, or destiny, or some kind of force that is totally outside of their understanding. The key in this conflict is characters coming to understand the limitations that they have as mere mortals. There is something here that is beyond our control and understanding and that is a man versus supernatural conflict. In Shira, there isn't really a lot of overt man versus supernatural conflict, but there are a few echoes of it. So I'll give you a, a few ideas that maybe if they do another season could be developed into a man versus supernatural conflict. Adora goes through quite a lot trying to figure out who the Old Ones are and how that relates to her as She-Ra. And yes, the Old Ones are kind of sort of explained, but it's not really delved into, so there's a lot of mystery that goes on there, and they are sort of mythical, kind of sort of godlike figures. There's also this idea of dark magic, and that's explored through Shadow Weaver's plot. Now again, it's not really very deeply gone into, and this is something that could be fleshed out later, but it is sort of seen as this untouchable force that's different from the rest of the magic that's in the show. And lastly, while in the show magic is present and understandable, also when Horde Prime eventually comes to invade, there's this sort of like hive mind type of magic that they use, and that is treated as more of a supernatural unknown force. So those are our six main types of conflict. When you Google, you might find these kind of um, organized a little bit differently depending on who wrote it, but this is kind of the way that I think about it and kind of the order that I think about it in. So to recap, the six types are man versus self, man versus man, man versus nature, man versus technology, man versus society, and man versus supernatural. And they kind of grow outward from there. So looking at it this way, what types of conflict are present in your role plays? Is there one that I talked about that maybe you never use that you'd be interested in trying? Or is there maybe like one go-to that you really love? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.